with those, all these details, we are going to check CR walls with different, uh, different reinforcement configurations and different holes possibilities. Let's see the software. We are going to open here, I can save it, the uh, CR walls. The first CR wall is this one. Here, if I select all the structural elements, here I have, well, uh, we are seeing with the shape, but if I plug without the real shape, this is uh, two beams and a, a cell element. Plot the, th this, the thickness, and well, these beams are to go to, for giving stiffness due to the, due the, to the different uh, floors and this is the, the, the CR wall. What we are doing is applying a horizontal force here, uh, here are the boundary conditions, and uh, we will see the behavior of this, uh, of this uh, CR, wall. CR wall. Reinforcement we've defined it, we can see here are these, just uh, in both directions. So I'll plot it, all of them. After solving, I am going to check uh, the results here. Um, in example, I'm going to plot a uh, cracking. A uh, Y component of cracking. Well, I can see if I plot average results, I can see here I have due to this uh, horizontal force, if I plot with the deformed shape, well, the scale is very big, Let's reduce it a little bit. Well, we can see due to this horizontal force, we are having here a big cracking zone uh, due to in plane shear. So, well, I know this configuration is not uh, very good, I'm going to check other configuration. The next configuration is this one, adding these diagonals and also bigger reinforcement here, with a higher diameter. If I uh, check the results, also I plot here all the elements. If I check results, also I'm going to check uh, so here, crack, well, we can see we've improved the cracking behavior here with uh, average, with due to those, uh, the reinforcement, we've improved the cracking behavior just reducing in the mid zone. Yeah, the strain was, was reduced. Also, the crack we, the crack strain is uh, much smaller. The other one here we have in the plot. If we plot with the same scale, here we can see that in the other one, with this scale, uh, plotting with the same scale in both, we have reduced with this diagonal uh, the uh, the uh, cracking. Well, and also the behavior. If we perform a pushover analysis in this wall with horizontal load, also adding the, the vertical pressure of the building, we can perform different uh, pushover analysis in the, the different levels and improve this reinforcement. Also, we can check different reinforcement configurations to check these other, uh, these other holes and these other walls. Yeah, in case we have windows or... Here we are going to plot the last one. The thing is always it's easier to to model the smaller smaller uh, structures. As already we, we know the forces and moments and boundary conditions coming from the big uh, multi-story building. The resources taken into account is always uh, less, as, as you know, because we have less number of elements.
And as we are adding non-linearities as well, uh, it's better to always to work with uh, small, small models. Well, here we can plot also crack. And well, here with this, this option, uh, we can plot cracks, see the, the crack pa patterns in my model, and just uh, the design my reinforcement, taking an, into account these crack patterns, added some more reinforcement where I can need it uh, due to this uh, this uh, nonlinear analysis. Well, after analysis these these walls, we are going to analyze the next uh, part of the of the building, that is the beam column joint.